Leave it better than you found it. Not sure what scholar first uttered those profound words, but it applies to so much. And just like this tweet from Boston College's former AD, something he undoubtedly did during his tenure on campus that started in 2017, but it is now over. Finally, dropping in, former BC Director of Athletics and current UCLA AD Martin Jarman. Great to have you join us. And I just have to say, the idea of having you on as a guest on Nesson, it's been on my mind since you were hired and introduced at Boston College in 2017. I guess it just goes to show that you should never procrastinate when you have an opportunity <laughs> to grasp on something good. So thank you, Martin, for being here. No, thanks for having me, brother. And that's, that's how it works sometimes, man. Best laid plans, you know, and then three years later, here we are, right? <laughs> exactly. But we have you now, and I'd like to start with you there. Three years at BC, it went by in a flash. Ask anyone, you certainly left your mark on the office and the program with all the momentum and energy that you built on the Heights. How difficult was it to leave? It was extremely difficult. Uh, I grew to love the Heights. Uh, Boston College, special, special place. The people are amazing, and it was really hard. It was really hard to leave BC. Uh, we've done some some good things, and there's still work to be done. But I'm, I'm proud of the effort that that we made together as a team, and the strides that we made in athletics over the last three years. But it was it was extremely hard to leave. It's a great place. It's a special place, and uh, the leadership there, and the talented staff, and the athletic department, uh, and the coaches especially, they're going to continue to do great things. I'm telling you, you're just seeing the beginning of a, of a special run, I believe, on the Heights. Absolutely. Now, you've been hired, but you don't officially start on the job in Westwood until July 1. But the lure to UCLA, the number one public institution in the country, the athletic history there, the bright lights of Los Angeles, not to mention the number two media market in the country. What are you most relishing about this new assignment? That's a tough question. Uh, the lights are bright in Westwood. You know, and the platform and the opportunity to impact young people is significant. So I'm, I'm excited to really help shape what UCLA athletics is going to be in the future and, and be a leader in college athletics. Uh, I think that if you look at UCLA historically, uh, it's been about barrier breakers. You know, Arthur Ashe, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Jackie Robinson, Ann Myers Drysdale. The, the, the list goes on and on with. Uh, the students that have come through UCLA that have not just changed their sport, but have transcended this country and transcended their sport uh, and made an impact on a global level. So I'm, I'm excited to be a part of, uh, of that, but also where do we go from here? You know, in college athletics, we got a lot of challenges, a lot of things facing us right now. And I'm excited to be at a place like UCLA that is truly a national leader uh, and have that platform to impact students' lives and, and let's just move this thing forward in a positive way, in a big way. Which kind of brings me to my next question here. Also now, much like myself, a young African-American navigating this space and pioneering the road that you are traveling, you were the first black AD at Boston College and now the first black athletics director at UCLA in the school's 101-year history. Needless to say, it's long overdue. How much responsibility, though, do you take as a black man stepping into these roles as the first? It's a tremendous honor. It's a tremendous opportunity. Uh, I do know that uh, it may, my performance may impact opportunities for others. That's the real, that's the real. Uh, uh, and that's unfortunate, but that's kind of where we are sometimes. Uh, as a black man, sometimes we wear the, the backpack where we're carrying those that look like us that are coming behind us and whether we do a, a, a good job or whether we do a poor job, sometimes it may impact the opportunities that come for people of color. So it's a responsibility that I take very seriously. I understand the significance of it. Um, I know the lights are bright and the focus is intense, uh, but at the end of the day, I'm just going to do, do me. You know, I'm going to do my thing and I'm going to do what's best um, for UCLA athletics and um, you know, as, as Father Leahy, the president of Boston College, uh, have a great relationship with him. As he always said, do your best and let God handle the rest. And that's kind of what I'm going to do. And I, I, uh, I'm excited about that opportunity. And you've done a phenomenal job so far, just laying out your resume. You're now in your second Power Five job and all before the age of 41. You're the youngest AD in the country at a Power Five school. And some of the things that you've accomplished to this point before landing in Westwood would, for some people, have been enough to settle and lay roots. 
I think I saw somewhere that being an, an athletics director wasn't really on your radar, but now in just a short time, you've already had a highly successful career. And who knows, you may be running the NCAA one day, I think possibly, <laughs> but for you, what's your end game? <laughs> You know, I don't think about end game. I really don't. I just think about impacting students' lives every day, man. That's I focus on the day. I focus on tomorrow, getting my workout in, and um, showing a level of toughness and grit every day. You know, it's hard to to want to be successful at the level that I'd like to be, and and so it takes a daily commitment and really kind of focusing on what's in front of you instead of um, you know five, ten, twenty years down the line. So. So I would tell you, I, I want to be the best athletic director at UCLA. I want to be the best dad I can be. You know, that's that's kind of what I focus on and, and uh, doing my best every day. So um, I can tell you right now, I would have never thought that I uh, live in Boston and be at Boston College. I would have never thought I would live on the West Coast in L.A. So I can't even tell you where, where it's going. Uh, but I can tell you I'm going to enjoy the ride. I'm going to do my best uh, everywhere that I am to give it all I got. Well, you're certainly on a phenomenal path, Martin. Voices like yours, they've never had more power. We're looking forward to watching you use it on that massive perch in Westwood, as you said. So thank you for being here. All the best to you and the Bruins. We'll talk again soon. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you having me on. Best of luck, and uh, we'll get through this uh, pandemic together. Uh, yeah, absolutely. That's most importantly. <laughs> Martin Jarman, thank you so much. Thank you.